what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel today we head to georgia fort McAllister state park to be exact and this will actually be our last stop before getting to the bandit bash in ocala florida to be honest we actually just picked this spot because it was close to the 95 and it was cheap we're kind of tired of blowing money fast at these luxury resorts so we were like hey let's just rough it for a night but little did we know, this is probably my new fave state park. Now let's get after it. We made it to a Fort Walton State Park. No, Fort Fort McAllister. Trying to find a little check-in area here. But um, so far, I am impressed. And I am glad that we have our e-bikes. Probably have a nice trail on the water. Look at this. It's nice. So we are here, up here somewhere, and we gotta come all the way down here. This is where the campground is. Right there. So yeah, we are here. Pretty cool, gated um, access. So you have to have a pin to get in. Ooh, that rhymes. Uh, headed to our spot. It's gonna be ready to ride the bike too. Now, as soon as we got past the security gate, my mind was blown. Check out these views, y'all. And even our drive through the campground was quite unique. I've never been through a campground that looked like this. Now, even though the roads were kind of tight and narrow, the landscape was beautiful. It had really nice Spanish moss growing everywhere and even spotted a few deers on the way in. And we immediately knew this place was special. They're looking for a spot. We're supposed to turn on Raccoon Way, which is this way. And these these areas are tight, y'all. The snug as a bug over here. Snug as a bug in a rug. That was mm -hmm. what you say? Yeah. <laughs> 638. So oh, so pull through? I'm interested in how to level this bad boy. <laughs> so this does not look like a level situation here, guys. Here go the hookups. Water, electric. We got 30 amp. Yeah, 30 amp and 20 amp. I kind of like this spot. It's like in a cut, kind of private. I think it's cooler uh, through the night. Mm -hmm. Should be less and less buggy. That's a buck, ain't it? Look at the antlers on it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hopefully I can zoom in on that. They said it's a lot of wildlife out here. Alright, y'all. This is going to be a very minimalistic overnight setup here. Right, Bay? We're mm -hmm. just here for a night. So, we're going to probably burn a little wood tonight since we won't be able to at our next destination. My little IPA here, my little Virginia IPA here. Don't mind the uh, vulgarity, but um, look at that. It's good. Okay. It's good. This place is nice. We got to come back here and yeah. spend more time. FYI, y'all, at Rustic Parks, State Parks, especially. Um, make sure you get you some of these right here. The uh, Sawyer Promethean, Prometh Promethean. I know I almost died getting bitten by a tick. So, um, yeah, make sure you get you some of these, especially when you come to rustic places like this, just to stay safe. And that way you don't have to worry about dying on a camping trip. You ate some of this yesterday? Don't sleep on the vegan food. Trader Joe's. They stepped up their game on the vegan products.
just a vegan ravioli and salad. Enjoy. Wait, let me get some light in here. Ooh, light. that looks good. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Okay, about to be a good night. Now, after scarfing down, I was slamming tasty vegan dish that my wife made. And no, we are not 100% vegan, y'all. We're just trying to make a few healthier decisions. So we just waited for the firewood to burn out and called it a wrap for the night. But stay tuned, because when we get up in the morning, we are going to explore this beautiful place. Good morning, guys. We are about to go for a little ride around the park. Just to show y'all a little glimpse of this place before we leave. But um, look at look at this these uh, sites, like... They are built into the park. It's not like they created these spots by design, I feel like. I mean, they probably designed it, but it's like they have all these pull-throughs just off to the side of the road. It's pretty amazing. They literally just used the landscape and just <laughs> built the uh, hookups into it. So yeah, this place is pretty cool. Hopefully there won't be a line at the dump station on our way out because there's always a line and there's only a one-way street really so if there's a line behind here they're gonna be taking up the whole road so my goal right now is really to get over to the front of the park area that we where we checked in yesterday so we can see you know the the river what's the river called again babe Ogichi river and it was some pretty nice boats on a dock and I don't know it just looked really cool over there so we're gonna take this long road back through the swamps to get to the other side y'all now i'ma shut up for a moment and let y'all just check out these views so we made it to the other side it feels like a mile maybe a little more than a mile right but uh not too bad you can walk it or ride it so we don't see any more riding area so we're gonna park the bikes right here right in front of the store on these bike racks power off safe and secure so this is like a uh, public space right yeah you can this rent these shelters this is where non-campers can come and have gatherings, parties of sort Hi. of sorts, and uh, just hang. Make sure you wear your uh, bug protectants, protectants, so you don't die. Put them, put, put them on your on your shoes at least. If you haven't heard the story about how a tick almost took Henry out, you'll have to check out the live. Yeah. Right here where we went into detail. This is nice. This is very nice. A little workout area over there, playground and interesting tree that's uh, fenced around. We are here. A lot of folks fishing over here. Let's do some good catch. Good catching over here. That's a, is, that, is that what they say? Good catching? What do fishermen say? Uh, <laughs> they're biting good today. Oh yeah, they're biting good. You're supposed to be a fisher, fisher lady. I don't, I don't even know how to fish that. There you do. I bet you what? I bet you we won't starve. No, we won't if, starve. If we have to rely on you. No. If we relied on me though, we would die. I'm from girl. We if we were in the die. ocean. No, we would eat seaweed. <laughs> if we were on land, we'll be good. I'll, I'll, I'll kill something. Oh my God. You'll kill something. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hunt something. It's beautiful. Peaceful. I'm really curious to see what's so special about this tree over here. That is fence, has a little fence around it. What is this, guys? If anybody knows, put it in the comments at Fort McAllister. This weird tree. Looks like it's crawling. It's weird. And this is just like the um, 
Venice Beach style workout area, right? Mm -hmm. Like Venice Let's Beach. Huh? You wanna get me on there? What you got? I'll say I'm lifting my body weight. light you a lightweight I'm a lightweight <laughs> how much do you weigh like a buck 80 something buck 80 down from like 250 yeah no, actually I'm down but well, originally 250 240 right I don't know was that back in the day when I met you you were like 230 230 that sounds about right then I lost 50 went down to 170 then I gained it back, went back up to like 200. You all over the place. Yeah. So am I. Now we're back on our fitness kick, down to 180. Do this one here, leg, leg workout. This looks interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's like you put put your feet, and you put, look like you just push out, push back. I'm just put, making sure there's no spiders. Put your feet on there and just push back. There you go, there you go, get it. There you go, ooh. Ooh, that's... This is fun. That's it right there. I like this. That is it, good job. That's like an elliptical. Mm -hmm. These are better than the best page ones. Remember the, yeah. well, the best page? They were all like rusty and, and like, well, that was kind of... rigid. That one's kind of rigid. WD-40. <laughs> Gonna go check out the museum slash camp store. So we can get some stickers for our sticker wall. A little camping essential section here. Very tiny, tiny little section. The museum is back there. I'm pretty sure you gotta pay a little extra for the museum. This is the check-in area when you're checking in, camping. Hey, overall, what do you think of this park? I like, um, like you said, how rustic it is, but also well-kept. I love that there's like wildlife everywhere to look at. You know, obviously we're only here for one night, so we didn't get to Hold explore the, the museum and stuff like that, but for 36 bucks a night, there's so much um, that this place offers. We didn't get to do any of the hiking trails, so. Give us something to do next time we come. Yeah, we'll definitely come back. If you guys have been here before, leave it in the comments. Let us know um, if there's any good restaurants around here or um, other things to explore in the Richmond Hill area. So on the way back to our camper, we noticed that they had this little subdivision that said cottages. We discovered that you can actually rent these cottages. So if you don't own a rig, no worries. Just gather your family and rent you one of these. Look at the views, guys. This place is so cool. And there's literally a whole subdivision full of these cottages. So I would imagine they wouldn't be hard to get if you really wanted to rent one. I'm sure it's probably way cheaper than even an Airbnb in this area. Now, after Maya and I were basically riding around in awe like a couple of kids, we decided to pack up and roll out and start making our way towards Ocala, Florida. So catch us on our next video where we'll be at the Bandit Bash. Peace.